Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty Within. It's your host, Felicia. And Rowena. And today we're gonna to be sharing with you our thoughts on some more skincare brands that we've heard a lot of great things about but just never really got the chance to try out because there's a lot out there. For K-Beauty, we have Myzon and Misha and these two brands are really well known for specific ingredients like Myzon and their snail mucin. And Misha has been claimed to have the best dupe for SK2's treatment essence. Yeah. So we'll definitely be talking about the differences and similarities here. Then for other brands, we have Peter Thomas Roth and also Different. And these two actually get me really excited because they're very, like they pack a punch. They're potent. Yes. And this video is sponsored by Walmart, which just means that we got all of these products from their online store because they have such a huge range they of skincare. They do. Yeah, everything from drugstore to high end and of course K-Beauty as well. And we chose all these products ourselves just out of curiosity and like based on reviews that we read out there that you guys seem to love or maybe like not so love. So just trying it for ourselves. And our thoughts are completely our own. So don't you worry your little heads about <laughs> that. <laughs> Let's start with Maison. Mm -hmm. So it was founded by a group of leading scientists within the beauty space in Korea, and they wanted to come together to make beauty and skincare accessible to everyone. And then they have a bunch of lines, and the ones I think we see pop up a lot is the brown packaging line, which is the snail mucin. Starting off with the slimiest of them. Well, we'll see if it's actually <laughs> slimy. It's actually not. That's the thing, it's like, Going into it, if you've never used any snail mucin products, you'd be like, it's what like, is this secretion yeah. on my face? But like you imagine a snail kind of like going like this. Yeah, but when you use all the products, they're actually so fast absorbing and not sticky. I think some people in reviews have said that it is a slightly like sticky feeling, but I think that could be more because you're like layering certain products on top. If you apply them individually, it's so just It's so light. lightweight. It's like a it's like a hyaluronic acid syrup. That's more watery than sticky. So this one is the multifunction formula Snail 80 Intensive Repairing Serum. And this one has 80% snail secretion filtrate. It says it's designed for like anti-wrinkle, mature skin to really boost the vibrancy of it and the hydration. It's because snail mucin like protects the snail, right? And it kind of like coats it, gives it that slimy armor, and it kind of like gives your skin the same thing without that sludgy feeling. I actually use one of these heavy duty glycolic mm -hmm. acids underneath as the toner and then went in with this. And I think if you were to use it, that would be like a great pairing. It's like a soothing yeah. kind of serum. And it's especially great if you have a damaged skin barrier. Mm. Earlier this year, I watched this video on how they have snail farms and how they extract it. They put uh -huh. it in this like gas chamber. <laughs> it sounds kind of scary. I imagine they're on treadmills and they're just <laughs> walking. Like, <laughs> but really slowly. And then, and then just leaving the tray on, they yeah. collect the trail. And then there's like a drip thing that But that's not how they do it? No, it's not. They actually treat them very nicely because it's like a snail farm. Good so they just kind of, yeah, no no snails were <laughs> harmed in the making. <laughs> and in the formulation of this serum, there's also niacinamide and a little bit of centella. So it really is this like skin barrier friendly, soothing serum that's very fast absorbing, very, very lightweight, perfect for oily skin and perfect for hot, humid weather. So that's that one. This also has 80% snail secretion filtrate, and it's also for wrinkle care and skin repair. In general, snail mucus or mucin is high in allantoin, which helps speed up the wound healing process. And snail mucin also contains collagen, elastin, hyaluronic acid, glycoprotein, enzymes, antimicrobial, and copper peptides. So there's a, there's a lot of goodies. And for this specific ampoule, there is hyaluronic acid, glycerin, and pomegranate extract to help further right. with the anti-age. Yes. What would you say the texture is like compared to the serum? I feel like it's a little goopier. It's a little goopier, yeah. but super light still. It's like by the time you work it into the skin, it essentially feels like the same thing. It absorbs quicker. So I would say this is very hydrating. The ampoule is very hydrating and the multi-function all-in-one snail repair cream is also very hydrating. It says it's a cream, so I'd use it as a cream, mm -hmm. but it actually functions more of like a toner essence serum oh. than a cream, so it's best to put a cream on afterwards. So when I went to bed with this as the last step, I woke up like, 
Oh, it wasn't really enough moisture. like so dry. I was like, wow, this doesn't work. Yeah. Let me do like, let me look into it. Like this should work. It had such great reviews. And then I found out. So I started using it's the pre moisturizer. Yeah. Stuff. I was reading reviews and people with acne oily combo skin can use this as a moisturizer. Wow. But I think someone with dry dehydrated cannot. Wow, it is so lightweight. I think um, it's misleading because it says snail repair cream. cream. So you kind of think yeah. it's like this thick re yeah, yeah, yeah. restorative thing, but yeah. it's not. And then here there's 92% of the yes. snail mucin. So out of all these, this one has the most mm -hmm. um, snail extract. But the funny thing is, even though it is so lightweight, like it's not a full on moisturizer, this is formulated with a bunch of different fatty alcohols and they're all olive based, like soteral olivate, sorbitan olivate, and these are the second and third ingredients. And it just helps to nourish, moisturize the skin and then restore that skin barrier. You know, not all alcohols are bad. There's like the quick drying alcohols, but there's also fatty alcohols, which are really good, like sterile alcohol and steric acid. So this is actually pretty impressive for them to somehow extract that, but have it in such a lightweight gel yeah. almost formula. So that's the snail line. I feel like if you're looking for something that's very lightweight, soothing, mm -hmm. will replenish kind of just hydration yeah. in the skin, but you want to try snail mucin, I think it's actually pretty cool. Yeah. So this is the original Skin Energy Peptide 500. It's mostly for people with more mature skin because of the peptides and we know peptides help with collagen production. And in this is also the copper tripeptide that you can find in the other products. But for this one, it's the second ingredient. It's like an intense shot of all five different types of peptides. Yeah. As we age, we lose that collagen production. So peptides and amino acids, they're the building blocks of our skin and you know youth and collagen. And it's super lightweight. It's almost like water. You could really just like layer this on. And I think that's why it's perfect for mature skin. It's not gonna show like really quick effects because mm -hmm. I think you need at least like a couple of months to actually see, you know, collagen production yeah. differences. And I think that's one thing we've been talking about a lot, especially with this new trend of skincare is that it's more calming and soothing and long-term rather than instant da, da 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 There's also the hyaluronic acid 100. It contains 50% hyaluronic acid. It's also for wrinkle care and deep moisturizing. And for this, this is probably the product that I've been using the most out of all of them. And I would say compared to other hyaluronic acid, it's very lightweight. It blends very quickly into your skin. It absorbs beautifully. It's so silky. Yeah. Wow. With hyaluronic acid, if you tell me to choose a best, like it's hard. It just really comes down to personal thing. preference. Yeah, this is all very neutral. Like mm. nothing is on your skin. In this specific formula on top of hyaluronic acid, there's the copper tripeptide as well as ceramides and raspberry extract for antioxidants. It's yes. like a very reliable friend if your skin is dry, if your skin just needs an extra dose of hydration. Mm -hmm. This is your best friend. So then we have the collagen cream, another one. I, I feel like we should have swapped this cream with that cream. Yeah, I should have probably used this one. Yeah, okay, so this is the Intensive Firming Solution Collagen Powder Firming and Rich Cream. Doink, doink, doink. The thing is, I really like the texture, the consistency, the feeling of it. It's very Ooh. silky and smooth and spreads oh, really the smell. easily. So it just spreads like a dream over the face. It's very light, like it's thin, but it leaves grease. So I think in this formula, there's definitely a lot of like seed oils as well as fatty acids that create that super nourishing feeling on the yeah. skin. So this is definitely for like drier skin mm. types. One thing I also want to mention is that it says it's a collagen powder. So the thing is collagen resides and is formulated in the deeper layers of your skin, in the dermis, right? And it's what creates that plump, youthful looking human being. When you apply it top it's very hard for collagen to go that far down, you know, because it's created on the inside. So when they try to say it's collagen, you're not really getting the same effect. Ding! Misha! Time Revolution, the first treatment essence, intensive. Everyone knows that Misha Revolution Essence is the dupe the of dupe. choice yeah. <laughs> for SK2 because SK2 is 200 and something for the full size bottle. Very first one I used was the SK and I think my skin at the time because I have acne prone, like although it worked, I couldn't really see the benefits. 
you know, because it yeah. wasn't like a treatment essence. So this one, I think they also tried to like model it after maybe the bottle, also in a glass jar. And I think the similarity is the yeast. Mm. But there's important things to note. This has 90% Himalayan purple barley yeast extract. It's also got the Bifida ferment lysate, which is a type of yeast extract. With this ingredient, there's limited research into how effective it really is, but it does have the effects of like helping with UV damage and against free radicals, so it's an antioxidant. On top of that, it's also got niacinamide as well as adenosine, which is another yeast derivative ingredient that works well to smooth out fine lines, plump up the skin and kind of soothe then restore. So the SK2 has the trademark signature patera, right? Mm. But that's yeast fermentation. This is yeast extract. Ah. So the process in which they get that ingredient is completely different. So how SK2 found out and formulated the patera is that it was um, like an age old sake brewery and they realized that the people that produced the sake had really soft hands. So then that's what started the whole research into yeast fermentation because fermentation is how you get bread to rise and it's also how you make alcohols like beers, kombucha and all that. So that's a different process, right? But with yeast extract, it's through like a pasteurization. So it's two completely different processes even though it has the word yeast in it. So before we jump into the second half of the video, which is Peter Thomas Roth, we'll break it up with this little different gel. Yeah. <laughs> this I think is one of those products that you'll see a lot of dermatologists talk about, recommend, because it's got a dapoline. And a dapoline is a type of topical retinoid, and this was once only prescription. Different recently made it available at drugstores for a really affordable price. And personally, I think anyone who has acne prone skin should own this. Not many things can help with hormonal acne, right? Because it's like internal, but on the outside, what this does is basically go deep past the stratum corneum into the root of the pore and like break up all that Nast. So this is formulated with 0.1% of the adapalene. So what it is, it's a really lightweight, clear gel. And for me, I used this when it was like the, the chin and what is it, jawline? Really bad, really bad. You know when it's just like a dinosaur level of bump? Mm. Going is like, no, what you're talking about, girlfriend. So I think with this, because it's so lightweight and it dries very easily, um, you can use it as the first step after cleansing or even after toning because you restore hydration and then you kind of like heal it. So Adapalene is really great. I highly recommend you guys try this one out. So moving on to Peter Thomas Roth. Yeah. Okay, so this is a highly loved and raved yes. about cream. I really like it. It feels like a splash of water on your face. Yeah. So the first time we heard this was when we did the Tatcha hyped review yes. and so many of you said. You guys are like, this is a great dupe for the water cream, but this is still quite expensive. It is. It's like, like 50, yeah. 40, 50. So this has 30% hyaluronic acid complex. It claims that it locks in hydration for up to 72 hours. So I would say that the morning after I used this for the first time, it was like, world's difference. Mm. The thing with this, it's reading reviews online. It's quite split. Mm -hmm. For some people with oily, acne prone skin, they're like, this doesn't work. It feels like putting oil on the back of your hands. It doesn't blend in. Another person with oily acne was like, it works beautifully. Yeah. So I think it really depends. And with products like these, especially Peter Thomas Roth, you can go into stores to ask for samples. For dry dehydrated skin, I would say this works very, very beautifully. Yeah. And especially if this active ingredient is hyaluronic acid, I feel like you can find that in other products. Mm -hmm. Is it great? I think it's pretty great. What I repurchase, I don't know. So this also says it's oil free, alcohol free and fragrance free, mm. which is probably one of the distinguishing factors yeah. between that and Tatra. When we first used the Tatra, we're like, whoa, because it was the first of its yeah. kind that we That we tried, that we touched at that time. Yeah. <laughs> but I think over time, the more we tried, I would actually prefer the Purito deep sea water cream over Tatra's. I mean, there's a surge of water cream because damn, they're magical. This. Oh my gosh, the wow. packaging is so cute. It's like the cloud cream in serum form. 
just as like refreshing hydrating as you would imagine it to be. It's a little uh, thicker than mm -hmm. the, the other serum, the yeah. Salmucin one. Ooh, it's like a bouncy water bubble. In here, there's 75% hyaluronic acid, which probably adds to the price tag. There's also sodium, PCA, silk proteins, mineral complex, and it is fragrance free. So this is high up there. But I would say you can get less expensive ones. Unless you've tried this and your skin loves it, it drinks it up, it has that youthful radiance, and you just don't want to try anything else, then stick with this. Dude, this morning, I was like, yeah! <laughs> You'd be like a hamster at the little like distributor, like... <laughs> Okay, let's talk about these two then. Okay. So this is the 8% Glycolic Solutions Toner. And then there's also the Max Complexion Correction Pads, which has 10% glycolic as well as 2% salicylic acid. When I was testing these out, I put this on the left and this on the right. And dude, was not expecting that this was so brightening. I'm actually two different <laughs> colors. Amazing. And I started reading reviews and I think people also really love this. But the thing is, this is potent. Like you take it out, it's very Ooh! strong. <laughs> very strong. There's actually peach fragrance. It's like uh, alcohol. Yes. I think it's because of the such high dosage of the glycolic acid maybe. Yeah. If you guys are very sensitive to that, it could be like alarming. But the effects of it is like, wow. I have never come across such like a instantly working yeah. product. Because 10% is pretty up there. You know, 20% is what they use at spas, like 18, mm -hmm. 20. 10% 10 is probably the highest you'll get for an at Was home. Bliss 10%? It was. They're very similar, but the Bliss has the micro encapsulation. Encapsulated, yeah. yeah. So that's a slow release of glycolic, which is better for sensitive skin because it's not like all at once. And I really like that it's also got green tea as well as chamomile as soothing ingredients and allantoin and aloe vera. So it does nourish the skin, but if you have any sort of irritation, don't use this at that time. Maybe if you don't want something as intense yeah. as that. Um, Eight percent still pretty high up there. It is. So you'll feel it because if you have active or open breakouts, mm. it'll start tingling. It's like, <laughs> does that burn? No. No. <laughs> you're like, I'm used to it. Yeah, I'm just used Bring to it. Bring on the acid. <laughs> so if you're looking for something more of a daily use, this could be something that you try. And it's also got that sodium PCA, which was in this one, which is nourishing for the skin. But the thing is with this, the third ingredient is alcohol to nat. But alcohol to nat can be one of those drying alcohols if you have very inflamed or sensitive skin, but it's an active ingredient that actually helps the other ingredients absorb into the skin better. So it's for penetration purposes. It also has witch hazel, which helps with balancing the sebum and the oil on your skin. So if you're looking for a toner that brightens, that helps with pigmentation, that gently resurfaces, and you've used glycolic acids before, then this could be a good one. And if you want it to act now, use this one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this anti-aging cleansing gel is one of their highest, like one of their best, best, best sellers. Mm. It smells like the Max Correction Pad. Oh yeah, because the, the peach. Yeah. So this is an oil-free cleansing gel. It helps with wrinkles. It helps with brightening your skin because of all the chemical exfoliants. Just make sure to sunscreen after, as with any of the things we just talked about. So in this oil-free gel, there's 1% glycolic acid, 1% salicylic acid, and there's also coloring and fragrance, but that's mostly towards the bottom. And then the, the fragrance is probably from peach, lemon, lime, and grapefruit. One thing to call out, SLS is the second ingredient in here. I feel like this is completely designed for like, if you want a clarifying cleanser. It's actually great for oily skin types to decongest the skin as your first step in cleansing. Our advice is probably if you have sensitive skin, if you have like eczema, if you have yeah. rosacea, it's probably not for it you. It says specifically for all skin types except sensitive. So then let's talk about this mask because it is time for pumpkin season. Pumpkin <laughs> enzyme mask. This is the Enzymatic Dermal Resurfacer 3-in-1 Intensive Mask. So the thing is, when I tried this, I thought, it's a little pumpkin mask, you know, it's <laughs> soothing. You're like, oh, it's cute. Yeah, but whoa. Oh my goodness. It's like pumpkin pie. Wow. <laughs> and the texture is also this like kind of thick jelly pumpkin puree 
thing. And it's got these very micro kind of scrub particles and it's the aluminum oxide, which helps with kind of buffing away that dead skin. So first of all, pumpkin is really high in AJs and you know, it's the enzymes naturally found in pumpkins and it's like a source of vitamin A. So it really helps to brighten. It really helps to regenerate new skin and that's the main ingredient in this. So in terms of like how much pumpkin is actually in here, there's a lot of pumpkin in here. <laughs> and there's actually two types as well. And then the second pumpkin element is the pumpkin fruit ferment filtrate. Both act as a gentle form of AJ. What you do is you put a thin layer on and then you wet your fingertips and you massage, massage it into the face and then you leave it there for three to seven minutes. I thought it was just, you know, some gentle mask. <laughs> I'm like, why does my face feel like something is happening? It's like, <laughs> it's cooling. And I could feel that it was working and it was just completely not what I was expecting. Uh. I don't know, it leaves this really supple, soft feeling. Like these two things blew my mind. <laughs> It also has the tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E, which is probably one of the reasons why it leaves such a nourished feeling. You know when you do a honey mask, your skin feels like kind of soft yeah. and gummy yeah. in a way? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Wow. And it's brightened because of the HA enzymes. But the one thing to note is that there's also cinnamon in here. It's really far down in the ingredients list, but this can irritate the skin. So if you have super sensitive skin, don't go for this one because it really, like you feel it working. So one more for all you um, acne people oh, out there. Yes. This is the AJ BHA Acne Clearing Gel. It's got 2% salicylic acid, standard for most spot treatment, face washes, anything with salicylic. And it's also got 10% glycolic acid. So what this is, you wash your face and then you can tone. And then I would kind of use it as like an essence serum. It also doesn't smell like anything. If you're combo breakout prone, you're used to 2% salicylic acid, but there's also licorice root in there, which helps to brighten hyperpigmentation. It's soothing, but brightens. Mm. There's also aloe. Aloe vera is like 90, 8% water. Yeah. It's like a natural hyaluronic acid from a plant. <laughs> Would it be too much if you use the max correcting pad, correction pad, yeah. or the glycolic toner, and then you use this? Is that too much? Girl, you need to calm down. Because if you're gonna use this, don't you use- You need like calming yeah, stuff after. Like put this with this, Yeah. you know? Do not layer more chemical exfoliants on top of this. It's already doing its thing, let it be. Same with this, I would not use these all together. There is like definitely no need. This is probably when you're super congested and you look in the mirror and you're like, my pores are huge. Mm. Like they're really filled. But this is for kind of that daily. as well. Yeah, but daily. That was a pretty good balance of yeah, products, I feel that like. was. Mixing two worlds, the very soothing, calming, and the very active. In your skincare routine, you should probably have a balance of something kind of like this mm. as well. Let us know what you think. Or if there's other Peter Thomas Roth products that we should try. Because I just, I went onto their website and looked at the best sellers. There's a lot of there's products. There's a lot. And you can get all of these at Walmart. You can browse through. There's a lot for you to look at. And yeah, let us know what you think in the next one. Maybe we'll do another one. Yeah. Pick some more products. Why not? Oh my gosh. The next one should be you guys pick. Oh yeah. All the products yes. that we feature. Yes. Okay, so leave, go into Walmart, pick any skincare product that you want to see. Make sure we haven't featured it already. But we can and leave also... it in the comment section below. Yes. Yeah. Or if there's like a huge demand for a specific product, we can talk about it again. And upvote each other's comments so we can filter through. <laughs> Yay, I'm excited. Next one. All yeah. Right. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.